Okay, here we go again. Uh, we go look at some crossover battles, and I noticed that I'm like the only guy that does crossover battles. I don't know if these other guys are only Silver League or what. I really don't know. You know, uh, I have my same defense up. I guess I can show it. Yeah. No, I'll change it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me go back out of here. So we lost yesterday, and it starts back over day one, right? But uh, the team this time, it wasn't really too weak. Normally, your first day one, you have really, really low-powered uh uh, teams you got to battle so normally like uh, the highest player on the team might be five or six hundred K you know on a day one gold league but it normally be like server 300 350 400 or something like that you know when you're dealing with those high servers they didn't typically they're weaker you know but uh, this one was server 181. So they had a few guys that had like 1 million teams, you know. And uh, this is how it went. So we won. But uh, it's kind of like luck of the draw. You can have a day one and be going up against a banner winner team. And banner winners normally have super guilds, right? I don't know if y'all know what super guilds are, if anybody ever talked about it. But uh, super guilds are, that means everybody on the team or in the guild as a champion that's competing in uh, crossover battles is uh, has a 1 million or higher team each and all have max titans, you know? So that would be considered a uh, a super guild. Where 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 is it? Okay, there I go, right there. That's one battle, Citadel. See, the guy was only one million, right? I really don't even like to show uh, me beating on a guy that's much lower. So I'm gonna show it on the teams that they had that was pretty high, like 400k team. Where is the other battle? Okay, that was the first one there. Okay, now he only has uh one team that's 400K right here, right? So I'm going to show that one. The other ones are so weak, I really don't even want to show them. You know, so that's pretty much what it is. This is my... uh. Fast kill mage team, right? I just threw Helios on the end because I wasn't going to use any healing. So I figured, you know, it'd be a quick kill or whatever. I seen it was Jet. They had Jet on there. So I threw Helios in, you know. Now, what I was, I also wanted to talk about is, uh, Anybody can be really, really good behind closed doors and in, in in this game. And I have to explain behind closed doors because before I start this battle, you typically say or uh, your your guild master say, "Okay, I want you to uh, battle this guy." Let's say uh, Shura is there, and he says, "Okay, I'm gonna have you battle Greg," right? And he said, okay, well, battle Greg. You know, sometimes if it's a uh, close and power level battle, they will show it and say, okay, well, I need to practice up against this team and that team, right? So either he will post up a copycat team of the same power or more usually, or he will have a guildmate post up the same team uh, with a little bit more power or the same power, right? So even though you, you only really get one chance to battle somebody and do you trying to get a, like a perfect score if you could. 
right? So he says, okay, well, my curatine on the top left is 350K. This guy's curatine is 340K, right? It's a possibility he may lose. It's close in power, right? So he would say, okay, well, can anybody post up? Uh, he would make a post and ask, can anybody post a copycat of this team? Because say he doesn't have ginger, right? He said, okay, somebody will post it up that has a invested ginger, right? They would say, okay, yeah, I have invested uh, Astroff, uh, Jorgen, um, Kira, Ginger, and Martha, right? So they will post up a team that's maybe 370 or 380K, right? And then if his team, whatever team, may, he might pick a team that loses to it. Say, so, oh man, that team lost to that practice team, right? So he would change his combo. He would take this player, I mean, this hero and move it around and blah, 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 until he find the exact combination that can beat that uh, 380K uh copycat team right once he then does that he uses that team to go and beat the real team in actual cross server battles right so the person on the other end don't know it's just like man this dude just wiped me out he beat all three of my teams right and sometimes you are close in power you might be uh Let's say a uh, uh, one million team up against another one million team. Let me see if there's anybody like that. I don't know about from today, right? Do you know what? Let me go back uh, from yesterday. I can show you real quick, right? Um, this is yesterday's battle that we lost, and um, we had more missed failed attempts than they did pretty much. I think we had five and he had two. I'm not for sure. Where, where am I at? Did I pass me up? Okay. So here we go right here, right? The top battle with me, I'm at 1.44, uh, well, 1.4 million, right? And uh, the opponent is 1.4 million, right? You don't really care if the dude is 10k less or whatever that really doesn't even matter right the main thing is the 1.4 right so then below i'm also 1.41 1, and the other guy is 1.44 basically the same thing again right the difference with me is i don't do any testing right i just go in and i say okay well i'm looking twins okay kark is counters the twins right okay they have this uh undead team fast kill mage that pretty much take care of undead right because the mage team doesn't have the physical um uh, area what they call it the area of effect that say kira has or even ching mao or whatever right they get countered by the totem that um Corvus has right so with me already knowing this i say okay well i already don't want to take a chance with having my uh crit team at the bottom go against them right so that's how i counter them right Kark team up against twins team is pretty common right it's common for me but you know i've been playing for a long time you know and the reason i use uh luther in the front is because I know that there's a max at 500k team. There's a max um, Lars on this team. And Lars tends to target the second in position. Well, who's in second position? Normally is Kark, right? And he always get uh, shocked. And then he has to get revived. And then once he revived, then he's ultimate. I don't want to even do that, you know take a chance of him having to revive. So I put him in the third position, you know, so pretty much. And then I have Luther in front. Luther gets slowed down by Jorgen, right? And so with him being slowed down, it's actually a good thing. That means he's not going to jump, at least not jump soon. And that's going to cause him to just sit in one spot 
and do basic attacks, you know, a lot of uh, attacking, right? Which is Luther beats up Cleaver, no matter what, you know, if you was to put them up against each other, Luther would beat Cleaver, you know? Cleaver, his ultimate doesn't really do no damage. It just grabs the the, the rearmost uh, hero and bring him up to the front. You know, if he's successful at doing this, he then starts hitting and damaging the hero, right? But it's not just him doing it. It's basic attacks from Krista or whoever else damaging this hero also. And then that all these different attacks is now killing the rearmost hero, which is normally the most squishiest hero. But what I was saying, the difference between me is I didn't do any testing on this, right? I just said this team here at the bottom goes best with uh, the bottom team, right? I said, yeah, okay, and Vari, blah, 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 blah. Okay, boom, there we go, right? And then I put the quick kill mage team up against that team. And I put the cark team up against that team. And I said, okay, there we go. Now, at this time, I'm at work. I don't have much time to test and tell somebody, oh, yeah, uh, can you post a 500K twins team up with uh, with the tank being Cleaver with Nebula in there and Jorgen? You know, with me being the most powerful person on the team, usually nobody has heroes invested you know as high as me or they do but they're the wrong heroes they can't copycat that exact team and if they do copycat it the team is 380k or 400k you know it's a difference between all you know heroes having all six star artifacts absolute star artifacts versus five star artifact you know these are all 100k heroes versus 85k heroes you know so that's pretty much the difference there don't seem like much but it's a huge jump you know but let me get back to these battles from today All right uh now i gotta find all over again okay let's see Okay, the good thing about battling someone that's, oh, let me do this other guy first. The good thing about battling someone less powerful than you, you could run the wrong combination of heroes that don't have enough synergy with each other and still win because, you know, you have that much more powerful uh, power than the other person. So this is how the battle went, right? It's normally pretty fast. Okay, now let me show you how the battle went. It's like the other team wasn't even doing anything yet. You know, but that's the way the team is designed. I didn't even see how fast that was. Let me let me watch it one more time. Let me see how fast this was. Like you have to watch it twice to see everything. That was 14 seconds. 14 seconds. You're out of there. Okay. Now. Let's see this other battle. Okay. I think this was the strongest guy in this guild. He had this top team that was 400k. I put the same fast kill uh, mage team up against it. Then I put Kark in the middle and I put uh, Crit Kira at the bottom, you know. And even though you see there's a Helios on the end of that bottom team, but I put it anyway because I know on a 200K team, 
that Helios is going to be weak. And by the time he even try to do anything, he going to be killed already. So my Helios is up there at the top. I'm finna show you. That's the output. Now, see, Kira did a lot of damage right there. A million damage. You know, nobody else did anything, but Kira did a million damage. You know? But it wasn't enough. And let me see. That was 22 seconds. That one took longer than, than usual because Kira uh, hit Orion with the basic attack so strong. I guess a crit attack and it knocked this ultimate to ultimate a little bit sooner. You know, so it was before he was able to get uh, Nebula boost, you know. These are the teams here. When you put gather team, it pretty much tells you this is gold league. You know, uh, I don't know. If there's gold gold league cross server. There's no other one. There's no silver. You know, and so a lot of guys can't really show you this. You know, you switch around the teams or whatever, however way you want them. I usually have that one at the top. The most powerful and then it goes down usually like that and these are my other heroes at the bottom and they less invested but my actual fourth row was is a pretty decent team you know fourth and fifth row they're just weaker it's a 300 both of high one is a high three well mid 300k and one is low 300k you know on my titans there they're pretty much max you know and they have me positioned in the citadel so uh the war planner i don't necessarily know if it's the the guild master that sets this up or, or the war planner but they position you for whatever they want you to be the same thing with uh regular battles right Set up the defense, update the team. This is the team I had today, right? I can change it if I want to. But the team did pretty good. I got two uh, missed attempts today. So a guy tried to come at me with the Ambari team because I had Kark. And he lost twice, you know, so... The third time, somebody else got me on the third one, but you don't want to miss no attempts. All right, that's enough for today.